Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm a second year medical student at Medical University Sofia and I'm here to tell you more about how my year was. The subjects that we have in the first semester of second year are biophysics, biochemistry, physiology, anatomy and Bulgarian. Um, the only exam that we have in uh, the first semester is uh, biophysics and then in the second semester we don't study biophysics but we study biostatistics and informatics instead. Um, the exams for the second semester are anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, social medicine and medical informatics and biostatistics. Social medicine is in ISO hospital once a week. We also have lectures once a week and there's some colloquiums and they're multiple choice. Um, and then for the exam, it's also held in ISO. The first part of the exam has a test where there's some open-ended questions um, and some closed-ended questions, meaning multiple choice, but it's not a stop test. And then you choose two tickets, um, which you write about, and then you go to the examiner to be examined. This is the book that I used to study for social medicine. It's written by the department, um, but they're bringing out a new one for the next year. And you can buy it in the bookstore across the university. Biophysics was held once a week in the preclinical building and every week uh, we had protocols to write. Um, the booklet was given to us by our teacher, so you don't need to buy a book for biophysics. Uh, the exam was in the first at the end of the first semester in January and if you attend like all your lectures and you do well in your colloquiums, you have a better chance in the exam. Physiology was the third subject in second year and um, it, we did it with the exam was at the end of the second semester. Um, we had to have a practical book which you can also buy across the street from the university and it's written by the department. Uh, so you have protocols to write up every week and um, the exam has three parts to it. So first of all you have the multiple choice test and um, then there's a practical test which is a stop test and then there's the oral slash written part. So your first two questions are oral and your third question is written. Some of the types of physiology that we study are muscular physiology, blood physiology, renal physiology and cardiovascular physiology. Um, personally the most interesting for me was cardiovascular. Anatomy was one of the subjects that we did in first year that we have in second year as well. Uh, in second year we studied the muscles of the head, the neck and the trunk. Uh, internal organs, cardiovascular, uh, the endocrine system and neuroanatomy. Also another part of anatomy that we had to study was topography which is the different areas of the body and the, uh, what is in each section, so which organs are in each section of the body. Personally I found first year more interesting for anatomy because we studied the bones, the joints and the muscles and at the moment I'm interested in specialising in orthopaedics. The books I used to prepare for the exam were Grades for Students and Sinanikov. I also used a website called Lecturio and they have articles and videos and quizzes so it really helps um, if you don't understand something in the book to watch a video about it or even a YouTube video. The exam was split into four parts and we started with a multiple choice test and then we had to do the, we had to pick four histology slides and identify them and um, then we had to go into the dissection room and there was, the, we had like it laid out into bones, cadaver and internal organs and we were asked questions in pairs about each section. The last part of the exam was in the museum and it's where we pick up a ticket with six questions on it. There's 52 tickets to study. In second year we also have biochemistry and um, personally I had a colloquium every second week with my teacher and um, he gave us really good class notes so I used those for the exam along with Lipnikov and um, I would recommend learning the cycles and the metabolic pathways really well for the exam. In the exam uh, you go in, you pick up two tickets and then you write about them, you go to the examiner and the examiner will ask you some questions about your tickets. Uh, in my case the exam was really nice and easy going. The examiners were really nice and helpful. They made me feel comfortable. The main things that we studied in Bulgarian was grammar, so first form verbs, second form verbs and the different tenses. Um, the year ended with an exam and it wasn't too difficult. 
we had two three hour classes a week and this is the book that we used in second year which you can buy from your teacher or the bookstore across the road from the uni Another subject we had in ISIL Hospital was biostatistics and informatics. For the first half of the second semester we had biostatistics and for the second half we had medical informatics. Um, the exam was split up into two colloquiums. So the biostatistics colloquium was at the end of the first half of the second semester and the informatics colloquium was at the end of the second half of the second semester. Um, and then both of your marks from those two colloquiums are made into an average and that's your overall grade for the exam. For these two subjects, I didn't use any books, but it was important to write down everything from class because um, once you've written down everything, everything from class, it was more than enough to study from for the two colloquiums. At the end of second year, you have to do a summer practice, which you can do here or um, back home. I did it back home last year and I really enjoyed it, um, but I do want to try it here maybe this year or, ne or next year. Although you only have one exam in the first semester, you should study for the second semester during the first semester because anatomy has a syllabus of 274 questions, which is really long. Um, and it's important that you keep on top of everything for the second semester, not just the first semester. I would recommend that you attend all your lectures and try your best in your colloquiums because um, in the final exam it will work in your favour. I find studying outside the house helps me focus more and also studying with someone or with a group of people who are focused around me helps me to focus. For me, uh, second year was a lot more intense than first year so I didn't have as much free time. But when I did have free time, I liked to spend time with my friends and go to Vitosha. This was my experience of second year, but I know everyone has a different experience and I hope the information I gave was helpful. So if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment section below and I wish you all good luck.